Mike, you have the floor. Amen. Okay, sir. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank God for answering our prayer. Hallelujah. Yeah, what was placed in my mind to share with us this morning, or this, depending on where you are listening from, is on temptation. What's that? On to? Hello. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, okay, okay. So, so the bind of uh I first written that that no temptation has overtaken you. It was one to mind. And God is full. He will not let you to be tempted beyond what you can get. But when you are tempted, you also provide a So one of the dangerous entrance to our prayers as we pray often is a connection with God and the way we handle temptation. And one thing we've learned so far is that God is faithful. He won't let us be tempted beyond what we can bear. So I think that knowledge is very important as Christians. So instead of to be overwhelmed by temptation, we know that, oh, this thing is common to everybody. And God in his faithfulness will never let us be tempted beyond what we can bear. So when we face temptation, when we face fires, the first thing we have to set in our mind is that, oh, I can actually undo this. The devil is not in control. I am in control with the help of God. So that knowledge will help you know that, oh, this thing won't overtake me. I should be the one to overtake this thing. So you must have that mindset every time, every time, every point in your life, when you face trials, when you face this temptation that, oh, I can do this thing. Because God will never let me to be tempted beyond what I can be. We always provide a way out. Another mind is that <coughs> sorry. Another critical is that all Jesus Christ was tempted four days and forty nights. Um, after his sorry, he was tempted after his forty days and forty nights prayer, and yet he did not give in. And if there's anything we all have to know as Christians is that we are like Jesus. We are partnering alive like Jesus. So if Jesus could not give in to the temptation of the devil, then we also be capable of not giving in. If we are born again, if we are now renewed in Christ, if Jesus could not be defeated by the devil through his temptation, we also cannot be defeated by the that should, be the, that should be the way we live our life. So, and another thing that will help us trials and temptation is our work in spirit. The way we work in spirit. The Bible says, the Bible says, work in spirit. Because every time, the flesh, we always want something that is contrary to what the spirit wants. So it is our own responsibility to know that, oh, I need to walk in spirit part-time, not just in church, not just in spiritual gathering, not just in so-called sacred places, but anywhere. Our lifestyle should be patterned up after Christ. We should constantly tune ourselves to walk in spirit, to always be connected to God, to always be of the mindset that, oh, I'm a spiritual being. I am born of God because that mindset will help us a lot when we face fires, when we face temptation, even those ones that are so this thing is quite overwhelming. But what we do is we don't believe in the spirit that mindset that we are full and connected with. And I want to say that the Bible says in the book of Genesis 
four verses. Yourself to God, take away from you. So, the key to resisting the devil effectively is submitting to God effectively. So, it is more like a cause and effect situation. If we submit to God, then it will be easier for us to resist the devil and for him to flee. So, constantly, we must always live with the mindset that, oh, I am of God. I'm submitting to God. Thus, we must prevail over my life. Jesus won't give in to this temptation, then I won't give in to. Hallelujah. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I 